What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out another one of I's boss at Ignister Monsters that just got revealed coming out of Ignition Assault. Looks like my man is going to get the entire attribute will because this is actually the fire boss monster for the archetype. So I guess you can kind of uh, put this in the same category as like Shadows and Invoke decks that get boss monsters for every single attribute. This is Fire Phoenix at Ignister. It is a Link 3 Fire Cybers monster. 20 2300 attack and uh, its link points are to the left to the right and then pointing down straight towards you i believe that those are the same link points to nightmare unicorn i don't use that card that often but i'm pretty sure that those are the same link points it requires two plus cyber monsters to summon so you can use it in math max or any of the ignis archetypes salaman great marine Cess, if we ever get storm riders etc etc it says that um the first second and third effects are all hard once per turns but you can use them all in the same turn first effect if this card attacks during damage calculation you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to this card's attack and if you do this card inflicts no battle damage to your opponent during this battle second effect if this card is destroyed by an effect you can destroy one monster your opponent controls third effect if this link summon card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard during your next standby phase you can special summon this card from the graveyard okay so this is obviously supposed to be a card that is kind of built for the grind game. It's not a card that has an immediate impact outside of some battle damage, which that battle damage can actually be massive. Keep in mind, the first effect deals damage to your opponent equal to the card's current attack, not like the original attack. So if you find some way to cheese this guy up to like 8,000 or 7,000 or something like that, you could end up OT King. I think the first effect is actually pretty valuable, especially in a grind game if your opponent's playing like a defensive deck maybe to have defense position monsters on the field instead of being able to do no battle damage you can just hit your opponent for a nice base 2300 also and i'm not certain about this i believe even if this card attacks into a monster that has higher attack and would be destroyed by battle i still think that you get to do the uh, damage effect i still think you get 2300 on your opponent if so that is incredibly good especially with the uh, you know the end of match procedure and the new time rules and whatnot where you might not have ways of doing damage, but you just summon this and you're guaranteed to do 2300 damage. I think the second effect is also really valuable if it's destroyed by an effect. You get to pop a monster your opponent controls. That is non-targeting removal, which is absolutely awesome. And then the third effect is kind of like a monster reborn for this card. It summons itself back from the graveyard during your next standby phase, which is absolutely awesome. Now, the thing, the thing of note about that third effect is it only does it when it is Link Summon. So after the first time you revive this card, it's not going to monster reborn itself during that next standby phase if it is destroyed by battle or a card effect. I wonder if there are going to be ways in this archetype of destroying your own cards. I feel like that would make uh, triggering the second effect a lot more consistent. And obviously, in that case, you would not have to rely on your opponent. I think the third effect should go off a, a pretty good amount of times because unless your opponent's going to banish this card or bounce it, they're going to have to use some type of like targeting removal or something to get it off the field. I feel like that effect should actually happen a lot overall i feel like this is more of kind of a grindy defensive card and i'm perfectly fine with that i mean it's a monster that monster borns itself can get in a lot of damage without having to do battle damage and does have non-targeting removal even if it isn't the most reliable thing definitely not his most proactive link monster but still a pretty decent card in my book anyways whatever you guys think of fire phoenix adagnister or the adagnister archetype leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you're not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.